Hi, I'm Eric Paul, the Chemistry Guru, and you are watching H2 Chem X, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Now, basically, strong acids are acids that will dissociate fully in solution. So, if you have a strong acid, throw it inside water or you dissolve it in solution, 100% of this acid will dissociate and give you ions. So, the word strong basically means full dissociation. Now, example will be our HCl, this is a strong acid. So if you dissolve this in solution, 100% of this will give me H plus and Cl minus. So it's being represented in equation form by a full arrow. Now what this means is if I have a concentration of HCl which is 0 0.1 mol per dm cube of HCl, because all of it is dissociated into solution to give me H plus and Cl minus, concentration of H plus will also be 0 0.1 mol per dm cube. Now how do I find the pH of this strong acid? Now actually it's very simple. What we already know is the concentration of H plus and the concentration of HCl is the same because this is a strong acid fully dissociated into solution. So let me just write it as this. Concentration of my H plus will just be the concentration of my strong acid. Now once we have the H plus concentration, then I can find the pH of the solution because pH is just a function of the concentration of H plus in solution. It's just defined as the negative log of concentration of H plus. So basically that's how we find the pH of a solution of strong acid. Now for strong bases, the idea is the same. Strong bases just means that this base dissociates fully in solution. So again, if I have a strong base, example, sodium hydroxide, if I dissolve this in solution, 100% of this will give me Na plus and OH minus. So again, it's represented by a full arrow. If the concentration of my sodium hydroxide is 0.1 mol per dm cube, then the concentration of OH minus will also be 0.1 mol per dm cube because 100% of my sodium hydroxide is dissociated into solution to form my Na plus and OH minus. Now how do I find the pH of this particular solution? Now we already know the concentration of OH- which is equal to the concentration of my strong base. So therefore the next thing we can do is we can determine the pOH of this particular solution. pOH again is just a function of concentration of OH- in solution just given as the negative log of concentration of OH- So my pOH just a negative log of the concentration of OH- in solution. Now when we have pOH, we can find pH by using this uh, formula, pH equals to 14 minus pOH. Now what we need to keep in mind is pH equals to 14 minus pOH, this particular formula it only works at 25 degrees Celsius or under standard conditions. So this is how we find the pH of a solution of a strong base. If you have enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. To learn more about H2 Chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. If you want to know more about my H2 Chemistry classes at Nisha, please visit my website. Thank you for watching H2 Chem Hacks. I hope I've made H2 Chemistry simple for you. I'll see you next time.